Welcome, 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 my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to another video. I trust that everything is safe and everything is good and you're obeying all the safety measures and protocols that have been put in place to keep you safe. Now, today's video, I'm going to be looking at more foundation engineering. Today's video is going to be bearing capacity. I'm going to teach you how to calculate the bearing capacity of soil beneath your foundation footing. And also, I'm going to show you how to calculate the safe bearing capacity or the allowable bearing capacity. So I've said to you in previous video that even though we calculate the stress of the foundation at a particular depth, we are not going to allow the building to surpass that depth. So we have to establish a factor of safety of three. The factor of safety, it can be a minimum of three and it can be more than three, but not less than three. So we always try to use a measure of three and upwards. So in this calculation, we are going to be looking at this strip footing here. This is a typical dimension for your strip footing on your foundation plan. It has a depth of three feet and a width of two feet and it has a soil bearing strength or the unit weight of the soil of 125 pounds per cubic feet. Now the parameter is of such that the friction angle for this soil is zero. So when you see a friction angle of zero, you know that we are dealing with sand. Sand doesn't carry a cohesion factor, it carries a friction angle. And from you see that the friction angle is zero, you know that this, this soil is sand. It has a NC of 5.14, a NQ of one, a N gamma of zero, a unit weight of 125 pounds per cubic feet, I have said to you just now, and a cohesion of 1,200 pounds per square feet. Now, the formula, as I have mentioned to you before, um, I have shown you the definition of these denotation already in a previous video. So if you want, you can revisit that video. But to calculate the ultimate bearing capacity, it is CNC plus gamma times DF. And DF means depth of footing, NQ, we get it from our Tergese table I'm going to show you in just a minute. And plus a half gamma B is for the, the weight of soil, the weight of the footing or the, the breadth of the footing. Gamma is for the unit weight of soil and N gamma is a bearing factor. Now the bearing factor is taken from the Tergese table. I do not know if you can see this table but is taken off this targeted table based on the friction angle. So what you will do, you will go to the table and you will look for the friction angle and you will just take off the respective bearing factor NC, N gamma and NQ. So that is how you get those factors. So this is the book that I've used. It is the Principles of Foundation Engineering by Braja M. Das. So if you're a student, this is a good book to purchase on foundation engineering if you want to go way beyond what I'm presenting to you. So let me get into the calculation. So, so we are going by this formula here. So we're going to calculate our ultimate bearing capacity which is q alt so c which is big c is for the cohesion and the cohesion is 1200 pounds per square feet 1200 pounds per feet square times nc and nc is 5.14 plus 
gamma so gamma is the unit weight of soil and the unit weight of soil is 125 pounds per cubic feet so we have 125 pounds here per feet cube times nq and nq is one so it is gonna times one and so we have a half gamma b n gamma so this portion of the equation is going to amount to zero and why is that because n gamma is zero so anything anything you times by zero is zero so this portion of the equation cancels itself out because n gamma is zero so we can, we're going to stick with this calculation so we have q alt equal to so we have 1200 times 5.14 which is 6168 pounds per feet square plus one one times sorry i forgot to put in the depth of footing so the depth of footing here is three right so we're going to have so the depth of footing here is three i should have mentioned that sorry about that so it is 125 times one times three so this is going to equal to 375 pounds per feet square and if you should had 6168 plus 375 that would equal to 6543 pound per feet square so the ultimate bearing capacity of this of this of the soil or the stress underneath the footing is going to be 6543 pounds per feet square now the question asks us to calculate the allowable bearing capacity or the safe bearing capacity so i've said it to you ex I've said it to you that we can't afford to put this total amount of stress under the under the footing because we do not want the soil to get overburdened and overstressed. So we have to establish a factor of safety of three. So our allowable, our Q allowable, our safe bearing capacity is going to equal to Q alt divide by 3 so it's going to be q allowable equal to 6 5 4 3 divide by 3 that is going to equal to 2 1 8 1 pounds per feet square sorry sorry yeah let me write this a little bit better. So this is pounds per feet square. So the maximum stress that the engineer will allow this soil to carry, the maximum building stress that is going to be allowed on this soil is going to be 2,100. 181 pounds per feet square but we know that the soil can carry a maximum of 6543 pounds per feet square but we are not going to allow that much we are going to allow 2181 pounds per feet square so in this segment of the presentation i am going to be looking at the calculation for the ultimate and the allowable bearing capacity for this pad footing here or spread footing previously i've looked at the strip footing or continuous footing so in this example we have this pad footing here it goes down to a depth of 1.5 meters it has a width of 2 meter and a length of 2 meter and it have a unit weight of soil of 16.5 kilonewtons per meter cube so let me get into the parameters this have this soil 
has a friction angle of 25 degrees, a cohesion of 20 kilonewton per meter square. We're going to use a factor of safety of 3 and NC is 25.13, NQ is 12.72 and N gamma is 8.34 and gamma soil, the unit weight of soil is 16.5 kilonewtons per meter cube. So as I've said to you before, the NC, the NQ and the N gamma is taken from the Tergazi or the Tergazi table. So the ultimate bearing capacity of this is going to be Q alt. So we have here 1.3 and these are all factors times C which is the cohesion and the cohesion is 20 kilonewtons per meter square and NC, NC is 25.13 plus the unit weight of soil which is 16.5 kilonewtons per meter cube DF, depth of footing which is 1.5 meters times 1.5 and NQ which is 12 Point seven two plus we have a half and we have the unit weight of soil which is 16.5 and we have the breadth of, of the footing the width the, the width of the footing which is two meters times two and then we have n gamma which is eight point Three, four. So this, when you times 1.3 times 20 times 25.13, the result is going to be 653.31 plus 16.5 times 1.5 times 12.72 is going to give you 3.14. Sorry, this is supposed to be. 314.82 plus when you times 16.5 times 2 times 8.34 times a half the result is going to be 110.09 and if you should total all of these the result will be 1078.29 kilonewtons per meter square so the ultimate bearing capacity of that soil is 1078.29 kilonewtons per meter square but as i have established before we are not going to allow the soil to carry this stress we have to establish a factor of safety of three so our q allow allowable or the safe bearing capacity is going to be Q alt divided by 3 so if we should divide this 1078.29 kilonewtons per meter square by 3 sorry The result will give us will give us three three five nine point five kilonewtons per meter square, and that is the stress that we are going to allow the soil to carry. Even though we know it can carry a maximum of a thousand and seventy eight point two nine kilonewtons per meter square so that is it for this video i hope you watch this video until the end in the events that you're watching and you do not clearly understand what i have presented you can shoot me a question in the comment section and i will be more than happy 
to answer your question. So for my regular viewers and subscribers, I appreciate you. Thank you for all the subscriptions thus far and the views. Thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, do remember to hit the like button and hit the subscription button. Catch you in another video. No respect.